Hello, how's it going? So today I'm going to do a little demo about uh, air pressure and specifically the idea that hot air rises. Okay, I'm sure you've probably heard about, uh, you know, if a fire happens in your house, you're supposed to get low to the ground because the smoke is hot. I mean, it's burning, and so the smoke is hot, so it tends to go up. And I'm actually just going to show you a quick little demo here. Uh, I have a hot plate that's producing lots of heat. Of course, and I can actually, uh, I can feel the heat coming off because, well, it's obviously it's moving up, it's hot. Um, so just like you learned yesterday, you learn that uh, when something is hot, it becomes less dense. And as we learned, uh, less dense objects tend to float or move up. The more dense it is, it tends to sink. So with the heat coming off here, you, you would expect that it goes up. And so I, I basically attached a uh, bag onto the hot plate, and I'm going to actually hold it up above oops, above the hot plate. Okay, and what you're going to actually see is you're going to start to see the bag inflate because it's actually it's filling up with the air because the air is actually circling in from underneath and it's going up into the bag. Okay, and if I actually let it go, it will float. Okay. Um, no hands, see, no hands. It's actually floating because it's just like a hot air balloon. It produces heat and then that causes it to be less dense. So actually, all this air is really wanting to go up, but it's holding it in the bag. And that's why the bag actually inflated. Um, so at this point here, let's see if I can do this correctly. Because it's filled with hot air, if I actually cut the ribbon that's actually holding it to the hot plate, you would probably expect for it to float away. So let's go ahead and test that idea. So I'm going to and let it go, and of course the bag floats away, and then of course it fell back down when it's all hot air escaped. Uh, but that's the whole idea of hot air, it's less dense, so it tends to rise. Now if you think about it, something that's rising, it's lifting up, if you were to actually hold that batch of air that was trying to rise, ask yourself, is it going to be heavier or lighter if you were holding that batch of air? And the answer to that is the air would actually be lighter because it's like being picked up. Think about it, it's like me holding the scissors. It's a certain weight, but if someone went and started to pick up on it a little bit, it's going to be lighter. That's why hot air is actually low pressure, because pressure is the amount of weight that you might be that might be pushing on you. And of course, it's pushing on you for every direction. Um, but think of it as the amount of weight. So low pressure is going to be a low amount of weight 